Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be reviewing a face mask. So first thing first, I need to do something done with my hair. And I have these two clips to do it with. So I'm going to split my hair and I'm going to take up the whole front section so that nothing gets in my face mask. And I'm going to create lame little space buns that look like chocolate and vanilla ice cream because of how I dye my hair. I'm going to put the clip on the front so you can see it. Why are these so hard to twist? Oh my gosh. Cute. So, what am I going to be wearing today? So I'm going to be trying out this squirt mask. This squirt mask, not the squirt mask. And it is a lifting care mask called Snail. And it says it's hashtag moisturizing and hashtag soothing. You can see the packaging is trying to be nice, sleek and modern and appeal to more bougie people. We did a whole class on how like black packaging means like people like it. But anyways, but I got myself this one because moisturizing is a big deal to me because I am a very dry skinned person. And it is going to do the collagen mask that says it's going to lift and glow. So here you go. Thank you. Do you want to say hello to the internet? Hi. Hi to the internet. <laughs> so I always forget to take a pretty picture of the packaging before I rip the thing open so that you can like actually see it on screen. So I'm gonna have to go Google and see if I can find it. But let's read what it says. It says the mask that provides plentiful nourishment and moisture for the skin, making skin elastic and glossy. What does tinsel mean? Tinsel. T e n c e l. I have no idea. Tensile. It has a tensile sheet, which is the perfect skin fitting sheet. It has snail extract, which is pretty exciting. And obviously it's not vegan, but it says the rich nutrients that are glycolic acid and collagen, elastin in snail slime, help soothe damaged skin. Also, it soothes pores and maintains skin lifting. I feel like this was kind of just directly translated, especially since it does have the Korean at the top, but it's a pretty good job for someone that directly translated something. So elastin is the protein you have in your skin that gives it all its elastic qualities that's why i can kind of stretch and bounce collagen is also a protein that makes up your skin it is a more of a structural component and then glycolic acid is just something that's moisturizing and helps with hydration it then also says oriental beauty fruits nuplex this ingredient provides skin oil and moisture balance i have no idea what that is if i find out i'll put it here you're smarter than i am then but like interesting so how to use this product it says after cleansing soothe your face with a toner I did wash my face and do my whole skincare routine. So I'm good to go on that. Open the pouch and then apply it to your face. So let's do that. I'm going to rip it open. Oh my gosh, it's one of those. It has little tabs, but it's not easy to rip. There we go. Uh, it has a sticker on this side saying it's a sheet mask. That's why I didn't want to open. So it's just this one thing. And then it just looks like a normal sheet mask in there. Nice and slimy. It smells like sunscreen, of all things. I was expecting to smell snail of some kind, but I'm gonna lift it out. Nice and gooey. And now I want to unfold it without like squishing all the good juices out of it, which is always like the hardest part. That's, that's not where it's supposed to go. Oh no, that's not it either. What? I don't want to tear it. Well, I found an eye socket. That means there's an edge around here somewhere. I have never struggled this much with a mask. Hold on, hold on. Ha! I found something. This thing is full, okay? It's pretty soaked, which is very nice, actually. So there we get the full face mask. Let me put the other way around. And I am hoping it doesn't drip on me, actually. And I'm going to first put it in line with my eyes so that I can see. And it's nice and cold because I kept it in the fridge because it's summer and summer is warm. So I'm going to smooth it out on my forehead first. So okay, if it gets to my hair, I'm going to wash my hair, pushing it in all the way around the sides, tucking it in around my nose. It's nice and refreshing. Flip the little nose flap down. Ha! I'm going to try and tuck it in under my chin, or rather just under my lip. There we go. Very slimy. It's like sliding on my skin, actually. It's like not sticking. It's sliding around, which I'm kind of worried it slides off, actually. Let me push it up a bit. It feels pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. It just feels very, very wet. It then says, then it says rest for about 15 to 20 minutes and remove the mask. So I get to rest like this for the next 20 minutes and then let the skin absorb the remaining essence by gently patting the skin. So the majority of this thing is water, which checks out. Then glycerin, dipropylene glycol, alcohol, citrine, Tyral, a son no nanoate, that's a new one. Cetal palmitate, cetereal alcohol, cetereate 20, cetereate 12. A lot of cetereal stuff.
stuff so whatever that is it's this this is what it's doing to my skin now and where it's coming from then it has benzoic acid that checks out it has some citric acid that just helps with like preservation and stuff it has some hydrogenated castor oil and i know what that means <laughs> because I did food science this year. If you hydrogenate an oil, you take the little chain that the oil is, because it's a hydrocarbon chain, right? And then you break the double bonds between two carbons and you add hydrogens. That's how you hydrogenate something. And that changes the melting point of an oil because it's an oil at its melting point and below that it's like a solid fat. And if you hydrogenate something, you increase the melting point, which means it needs a higher temperature for it to be liquid. But I don't actually know what the melting point is for castor oil. Never looked at it. It has some anise in it and it has fruit extract. No further explanation. Snail secretion filtrate and a thousand parts per million. It has punica granatum fruit extract whatever that is it also has prunus moon fruit extract some cross polymers which just means it's big molecules that are cross-linked then has some xylitol that will give it like the thick feeling that's why it's feeling like such a thick consistency and not like water xylitol is like a plant molecule that just helps thicken stuff up you can also use it in like ketchup and stuff to get ketchup to the consistency that it is glucose so there's some sugar on my face there is some hyaluronic acid in here but it's such a small amount because it's like at the bottom of the ingredient list, which means like it's 1% or less of the product. It also has a tiny bit of like fig extract for like no reason. And then fragrance. So I guess this is like sunscreen flavored because I'm really getting like subtle sunscreen notes. It then says for external use only, do not swallow, keep out of reach of children and avoid contact with ice. So I'm going to slide this thing up because like look how far down my lip it's gotten and I don't want to be drinking this stuff. So I'm going to do a little lift up here and pull it up. That's a good look. Look at my eyebrows. Goodness. But I'm gonna go sit still and I'm gonna go not talk because talking is moving my face and that's why this thing's sliding around. And then I'll see you again in a little bit. I am gonna take the residue that's left in here and I'm gonna put it on my hands. You can also put it on your chest but I'm wearing a hoodie. But these snail juices are very good for anti-aging on your hands. Not that I think I need anti-aging or the anti-aging stuff trying to get you to look like me because I'm only 23. But I still want some. I think it could be nice. But I'm never going to say no to any hydration. So here we are, 20 minutes later. It was first warm because my skin was warming up and then it started like cooling down. So I'm like nice and chilled. I'm glad I did this on a summer's day, not a winter's day. But let me peel this mask off. It still has a lot of juice to give. But I feel pretty good, actually. I just dropped the sticky wet mask on the floor. <laughs> I'll clean that now, but... First look, I think I look nice. I don't know. I think so. Just because I'm still like wet, they said you have to like tap this all in. So I'll probably have to give this another few minutes to just like absorb into my skin. But I feel like I look pretty nice. I look less tired than I feel for a change. Now I'm not going to say any mask is a miracle worker. I don't see anything majorly different. But I do feel a little bit more hydrated, which is quite nice. I don't know how long it'll last. Probably for the rest of the day or until I wash my face again. Okay, this feels really nice because my hands are like nice and warm. And I'm like rubbing the rest in now and ah. Uh. So overall, this mask was pretty cheap. We paid like like 30 rand for the thing. It's not that bad and it's refreshing and it's a nice little treat yourself experience. And it doesn't leave like too much of residue. Like my hands feel a little bit like sticky, but I think it's because I have it on now, but my face feels perfectly fine. Overall, it was a fun experience. I liked it. It was refreshing. I wouldn't mind getting it again, but I wouldn't do face masks too often. I'm not really into that side of skincare necessarily, but, but as like a once a week like reset, this could be like kind of nice. I really like this one. I I would say it's the nicest sheet mask I have ever done because other ones you know they're like kind of dry or they're uncomfortable or something or they go stiff this one was just generally nice I'm not complaining and I do feel hydrated so but then that is it for today thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed doing this video I hope you do a little bit of self-care for yourself today but if you want to see me try out more masks I do have a playlist where I've tried out a few before so I will link that here ish for you but then thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time Bye-bye. Okay, I'm gonna peel this thing off now that I took pictures and I cannot rob you of that experience.